Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going over the brand new shiny hunting method that's just recently been discovered in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to make getting those super hard or impossible to see shinies super easy for you in game. So this brand new shiny hunting method is a huge game changer. It's going to make getting those very hard to see shinies very easy or impossible shinies super easy to get in your game. And it basically involves counting the number of spawns that come onto the field at one time. Now, the easiest ways to apply this method are going to be utilizing the picnic method or the town respawn method. The picnic method is where you set up your picnic, despawn everything onto the field. You take your picnic down and new spawns come in on the field in front of you. The town respawn method is another one where you leave one location, enter another one, you get the text appearing that you've entered a new location on the screen. It will despawn everything in the location where you were, and then you turn back around and re-enter the location where you were, and new spawns are going to appear in that area. Now, every time you use the picnic respawn method or the town respawn method, when you respawn a new batch of Pokemon into the field in front of you, you're generally going to get 15 spawns in total but it has been discovered when you get the number of 16 spawns onto the field at one time rather than the 15 which is the regular number the 16 number means you've got a guaranteed shiny in that batch of pokemon that are on the field in front of you at that exact instance so this is going to make hunting pokemon like minio which are impossible to identify if they're shiny or not a very easy shiny hunt to go forward with there are some caveats to doing this in game so we'll go through all of these and everything that we've discovered doing this method over the last two days to get all seven different shiny mini cores in the game so for this first example we'll be heading over to this area of the polar biome it is on the western wall here and you're going to want to be located just southwest of the polar plaza fly point now when you get to this location here the first thing, as always, that you're going to want to do with any shiny hunt is drop a save before you set any sandwich powers up. Once you've dropped your save, set your picnic up and create a sandwich with the encounter power and sparkling power level three for whatever Pokemon that you're hunting for at the time will be sandwich recipes linked down in the description below if you need them for reference for your own shiny hunts. But for this example, We'll be going after Minior, so we're setting up an Encounter and Sparkling Power Level 3 Sandwich for Rock-type Pokemon. Once that's set up, you take down your Picnic, and then you just watch the field. You take a minute to allow everything to spawn in on the field, and then you take a count of all the Pokemon that have spawned in. So you can see here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 no more pokemon are spawning in at this point so we know there's 15 pokemon spawning in in this one location right now and because there's 15 pokemon spawning in on the field right now we know there is no shiny amongst these pokemon that are spawned in so we're safe at this point to set up our picnic despawn everything on the field in front of us and take it down to allow a new batch to spawn in on the field what we're looking for is 16 spawns in on the field at one time. Now, if you get the number of 16 spawns at one time, it means you've got a guaranteed shiny amongst one of those 16 Pokemon that have spawned in. There are only 15 Pokemon spawning in on the field at one time. It means there is no shiny amongst the Pokemon that you've spawned in. So you can then just reuse the method of setting up your picnic to despawn everything on the field. And repeating this process, taking your picnic down, allowing new Pokemon to spawn in, until you do get that overall count of 16 spawns in front of you. Now, for the first time of us doing this, it did take a little while to get the number of 16 Minior on the field at one time. But when you do have that Pokemon, just recount them quickly and then drop a save because you know that the shiny is amongst those one of 16 Pokemon that have spawned in on the field right now. And what you want to be doing is going and encountering any one of these Minios to check where the shiny is. And why we're dropping a save before we doing this is because moving into certain areas will despawn other minior and allow new ones to spawn in so essentially you could be despawning the shiny losing it and i uh, having the save if you check all the, the pokemon and none of them are shiny you can reset your game and then check another section of the minios that originally spawned in when you do reload into your game just give it a minute to allow all of the spawns to come onto the field before you start checking each and every one of the pokemon that have spawned into that location and then you'll be able to check every single one of these 16 Pokemon that have spawned in 
and amongst them you will have a guaranteed shiny making the minion hunt in particular a very easy one for you to do in your game and like i said this method can be applied to any single pokemon hunt that you're doing for shiny pokemon that are hard to see or very small to spot as long as you've got a good view of the field in front of you and you're using a method that can despawn everything onto the field and respawn everything in a close proximity to where you're hunting this method can be applied like I say, we did all seven Minio forms in the last couple of days using this method. For the green coal, we went to the coastal biome. We flew into the coastal outdoor classroom and then headed up to the highlands area up here. We positioned ourselves on the back of this cliff area, dropped a save before we started, set up an encounter and sparkling level three sandwich for rock type Pokemon, took down our picnic and then started spanning the area to count the number of Minios spawning in in this location. It's important to note as well that you're not moving your player character when you're counting these Pokemon. Just use your right analog stick to kind of span over the area to make sure that you're not missing any Pokemon that spawn in once you've taken your picnic down or moved into a new area if you're using the town location respawn method. As you can see here for the green core, Minios in the coastal biome, we counted 15, there was none there. We set up our picnic again, despawned everything and repeat this method until we got that 16 count onto the field. When we got the 16 count, we dropped a save and then proceeded to encounter each and every one of these 16 Pokemon until we found the shiny which was very successful and pretty quick overall in getting this green core shiny minio the orange core minio is available in the canyon biome i found a really good location for this from the canyon rest area if you head south of this fly point up to the highland area right in front of this fly point position yourself on the top of this sloped area set up your picnic here for the encounter and sparkling power level three sandwich and then take down your picnic and you've got a very good view in front of you of the minio that will be spawning in in this one location again just counting them as you go there's 15 there set your picnic up despawn everything and then take it down to allow new spawns onto the field and repeat this process until you get that final count of 16 spawns appearing when you get the 16 like i say it's the magic number the shiny will be amongst the 16 Pokemon that are on the field. At this point, again, drop a save, go and encounter each and every one of them. If you miss the shiny, if some of them despawn when you're moving around the field, reset your game, come back to this point, allow the Pokemon to spawn in before moving, and then go and repeat this process until you do find that shiny. The red coal mineral can be found in the torch lit labyrinth. Now, a good place that I found for an isolated hunt for the Minio in this location is flying to the savannah rest area too heading directly north and in front of this area you're going to see over the border between the savannah and the coastal plaza is going to be a cavern area so this big cave here in front of here you will drop a save set up your sandwich for the sparkling and encounter power level three or rock type pokemon and then enter the cave and then at the end of this tunnel you'll see a cavern you want to just position yourself here on the opposite end of the cavern, you're going to see Minio spawning in in big numbers. Again, you're going to be using the method of counting the number of Minio that spawn in. If there's 15 here, you're this time going to be using the synchronized function with your Pokemon. So just send it out, activate the synchronized function and get your synchronized Pokemon to run out the tunnel until you see that coastal biome text appear on your screen and cancel out of the synchronized function. You'll come back to your player character and then start the count again. So you'd get that 16 number appearing on the field when you know the shiny is going to be amongst those 16 you drop a save and count that until you get that shiny appearing it makes the red core hunt very easy in this one location i hope it'll be useful for you if you try this one in this specific spot the yellow core minio is another one very easy to do can be found in this fly point in the charge stone cavern if you come to the right of this location drop a save before you do anything set your sparkling and encounter power level three sandwich up for rock type pokemon take it down and then again once your picnic's taken down I'll give it about 20 seconds to allow all the spawns in on the field and then just pan around with your camera to count the number of minio out there if there's 15 set your picnic up despawn everything take it down and recount until you get that count of 16 pokemon spawning in on the field at one time this is going to be a very easy way for you to get the yellow core minio in your game in its shiny form. 
Again, when you've got that 16 count, make sure you drop a save before you start encountering any of these Pokemon. So if you despawn the shiny, then you can reset your game and then come back in and start checking until you do lock down where that shiny is. Now, the other two Minions were very difficult to go after using this method because the Indigo Core is one of the harder ones to find. It only appears in one specific location in the Terrarium. And that's going to be in the northeast corner next to this bridge. And you're going to be going into this cavern area here where there is a wild terror Alolan muck. In this cavern, you can get the Indigo Core appearing. Now, this isn't going to be a Pokemon in this cavern where you're going to get a good number of spawns. You're not going to be able to get 15, never mind 16 indigo coal minios spawning in this one area so this is a bit of a bust and the same can be said with the violet coal as well in the polar biome if you're flying to the polar outdoor classroom 2 you can head down the cliff in front of you here and there will be a cavern in the side of the mountain in here you will find uh, the violet coal minion now again You'll get more spawns in this location than you did in the coastal biome for the indigo coal but not enough to do a shiny hunt without a mass outbreak for these two you're going to have to utilize the mass outbreak method for these minions and yes this method can be used in mass outbreaks as well so if you've got a good view of the pokemon spawning in on the field in front of you you can utilize this method making sure that you're not missing any pokemon that's spawn in in your vicinity and then reset using the picnic method to get rid of the spawns on the field and repeat this process until you get that count of 16 and they don't specifically need to be the pokemon that you're hunting for either so for instance we went after the Violet Core Minio, which was in the canyon area in this specific location. Really awkward location to hunt for it. But we did all of the usual things for a mass outbreak. We knocked out 60 of the Minio. So maximizing our shiny odds, we dropped a save. And then we set up a sparkling level 3 sandwich for rock type Pokemon without the encounter power level 3. So we're not disrupting the outbreak, but increasing the shiny odds of the outbreak. And then what we did from this position here was set up our picnic, despawn everything on the field, take it down, and then count all of the Pokemon on the field. And like I said, it doesn't matter if all of the Pokemon are the same or not. You're looking for that overall number of 16 to know that there is a guaranteed shiny on the field at one time. Like you can see here, we've got Scrafty, we've got Scraggy, we've got Ellie Kid, Electabuzz. We've got an array of different Pokemon spawning in around this area where this Minio Mass Outbreak is. This is for the Violet Core Minio. So as long as we count 16 Pokemon in total in this area that have spawned in, then we know the shiny is amongst these 16 Pokemon. If there's only 15 Pokemon spawning in in this location, we know the shiny is not there. So we can set up our picnic, take it down again, and then get new batch of spawns onto the field until we get that total count of 16 spawns, then guaranteeing that the shiny is there. At that point, you can drop a save and then go and individually encounter each one of the minion until you do get the shiny. For the specific pokemon that you're hunting so again this can be applied to any pokemon that you're hunting using the mass outbreak method it's just counting the overall total of pokemon on the field at one time to be 16 rather than 15 where you know the shiny will not be appearing we did the same for the indigo core as well that was one that we had to use the mass outbreak method for but sometimes you're going to get a better location for these mass outbreak hunts than other ones obviously here in the polar biome where this mass outbreak for the indigo core was appearing it was a lot easier to set up a picnic and then take it down to count the number of pokemon spawning in from the mass outbreak taking a total count of these pokemon knowing that there's only 15 there and set up the picnic again take it down and repeat this process until we do get that total count of 16 minia or pokemon onto the field at once to know that the shiny is there now the only caveat to this is going to be wherever you are in paldea in kitakami in the terrarium in the blueberry academy is the fixed symbol encounters that you're going to get in any one of these locations these spawn in in every single area of every map that we've got in scarlet and violet so there are going to be pokemon that you're going to have to be aware of of because they can disrupt the overall count and mislead you into thinking that you've got 16 spawns on the field at one time when you've actually only got 15. Wild Terra Pokemon are classified as this as well so these Pokemon can be shiny but they're not affected by outside influences like the shiny charm or any of the sandwich powers but they have the full maximum one in 4096 shiny odds 
but they will disrupt your overall count of the Pokemon when you're utilizing the method that we're talking about in today's video. So be aware, use the tool that I've linked down in the description. It is Poker Earth over on Cerebi. It allows you to show all of the fixed encounters in every single area in Scarlet and Violet along with the Terra Pokemon. So if you're in a specific area hunting for certain Pokemon, you can see what these fixed symbol encounters are in the area to know if you should be looking out for them to ignore them in your overall count or not. Say if you're in an area in the polar biome and there's a fixed spawn for Grand here you know to look out for that one and to ignore it in your overall count you don't want to be including it in your 16 or 15 count that will not be guaranteeing you a shiny so just make sure that you are aware of what is in the area where you're hunting so this doesn't disrupt your shiny hunt overall but basically all you're looking out for is the 16 spawns when they come onto the field after you take down your picnic everything's spawned in or you've moved into a new area using the town respawn method if you've got 16 spawns in front of you and you know that there aren't any fixed symbol encounters in that area, you know the shiny is there, you can drop a save, encounter each and every one of these Pokemon, and then you're going to be able to maximize your chances, guarantee your chances of getting a shiny very easily using this method. Good luck with your shiny hunts. I hope you have a lot of fun applying this method to other shinies that are now going to be a lot more accessible in places like Paldea and Kitakami and a lot easier for you to go out and get. Thank you so much for tuning in friends. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.